So buckle up. It's the best of three just starting. And they're running straight into the B-bomb side. They're not going to slow. They're going to have a couple of flashbangs. And then it is an all-out battle coming this way. Electronic, he's actually not flashed at all. Finally, a single grenade lands on him. they got to check that corner. And it's not going to be enough. He has one bullet left. And now they've been slowed down. This is done. They needed to get that kill on Electronic almost immediately. But now, I mean, the entire lineup is going to be here. Now we are in position. And they're going to shut it all down. Double for Electronic. Double for Simple. And in the end, it is Boomich to pick up a couple of kills and Shaz picking up two of his own, but, um, well, three actually of their own, but doesn't really matter. Nothing exciting, no bomb plants yet, so the fourth round is really going to be like the first real test, I think, for this, uh, this MIBR lineup. And they're going to have some fun here. Simple saying, you know what, I don't want to wait around any longer. Yeah, can I just have my op, please? Yeah, I'm, I've done, I've got enough waiting already done. Make 1200 in bucks, last and he's going to push and find the bomb now. Bolt has been spotted in Palace. Let me flex that kill. And now Perfecto will take the long range fight with the MP9. So, what if you could defuse the bomb if you found it on the ground on the CT side like before? The... Waiting around now. I guess the only other thing that's really been accomplished is that now we are really low on grenades. So, they're not going to have Molotovs and smokes to stop anything. It's all the flashbangs and weapons, of course. And there's electronic, two big kills, including the bomb, which is now stuck. So, yeah, Danoku is going to get that one kill. But even if he got more, they have to run back with 17 seconds and find a way to get back into the site. And that is not going to happen. Bolt's here. He can try and take someone with him. And it nearly was flamey at that moment. But ultimately, they're actually just in so much trouble here. That's... That, I think, is partly due, uh, like, their own fault a little bit there. I think they didn't have to wait quite so long. Then they would have had a bit more time. I had some jokes I wanted to go with that, but we'll leave them alone. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, territory. Fifth, <laughs> fifth round. Deep nade coming in. They're, they're down on the ground on the bomb site. Now, if they get a quick bomb plant, that would be helpful. Put a little bit of pressure on Navi here. Long range. That's a great scope out of Perfecto. He actually saw it coming, and the bomb is once again on the ground. Bolts has been lurking middle. I don't really mind that, but... It sucks that they can't get the bomb down really fast in that because, again, that would that would just put pressure on Na'Vi. Whereas instead, you could tell Perfecto's fine with just sort of uh, orging away out there. So a nice triple for Perfecto and a 5-0. And just to say, just as a follow-up to what you were talking about with... Straightforward approach, but again, Boomich, always aggressive, always looking to find a fight early, and he is going to get traded. Even if he gets the one, yet should, Yell does not manage to get him back. No, he doesn't. Oh, swinging into it, though. The no-co going to pick up that one kill. That's at least something, but that is a wide swing with that AK. He could have been dead. Instead, Electronic will go down next. And I don't know. I, I kind of agree with you. That seemed like it should have been a straight trade, and I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous that he ran that far in. The no -co with his back turned. But the bomb is going to go down. Finally, a bomb pop. Oh, no! Simple steals it away. I spoke... Exactly one second too soon. I may have cursed them. And now it's back into a three-on-three. Three. Simple just up on the ticket booth, orping away. He's in a one-on-three. He's just taken one kill, but you know that he's built to do exactly this kind of thing. He's going to drop him through the box. Hardly even saw him. And now it's Cello on the other side. And Simple, he's not falling back. He's just trying to reposition to take this fight. He's already got the triple. And Cello, he's got to be nervous. The raid boss. This is it, the final boss of Navi, if you want to get that bomb planted, and well, guess what, simple. Yeah, you've already aggroed him, the rest of your, uh, the rest of your raid has already been knocked out, like, they're all, they're not respawning at all. Yeah, you can't, actually, you can't run away either, he doesn't de-aggro. No, he's, he's on you. <laughs> 13 seconds, and Simple has managed to reposition deep enough in, and I think Cello may have guessed that. He's faking it. He doesn't have any more time to fake. Now is the time to do it. Oh, and he goes down. A one versus three in the sixth round, and uh, of course, Simple will pick it up. A quad kill overall. This is going to be them committing to the B site, and while Simple can only shoot so quickly, he hears the footsteps. It's like, I'll just let the first one go so that the second one feels safe. If I don't take the shot, he won't. He'll, he'll just think it's fine. Deep nade will not really do any damage at all. And the debris from the grenade actually messes up that shot a little bit. And they'll get the revenge frag on him. There's the no-co again. So suddenly it's a one versus two and a very unlikely round here for MIBR to even be close to winning. But yet here we are. Electronic hoping to see if he can find a quick kill on one. He tries to go for the straight spray. He does have a kit, obviously. Some damage, but it's Cello to take him down. A triple for him and a double for the Noko, and that means MIBR on the board, finally. And that can get you killed quickly. Well, with how aggressive Boomich plays now, it almost feels like it just, you just default have to assume that he's going to be somewhere close. This puts him in a bit of an awkward spot, however. Now he's at risk of getting sandwiched. Yeah, and look at the... Again, it's the entry for the Noko. He, he does it one more time, so... 
He's close enough to hear the op though, so he knows that somebody has posted up. They've taken over mid. Oh, which gets timing. nothing. The flashbang was coming in for him. They set it up. He was so close to being able to turn the corner. Because you're absolutely right. He heard the scope where the orb. He calls in a grenade from his teammates. And it is one second late. Maybe less than a second. And now this is the kind of round where you want MIB to really slow it down, right? Five versus three. Do not go fighting more than you need to. Even, even if you think you've got this, it is not worth it. Yeah, he'd have to really get over there quickly. And wow, they have certainly given up quite a bit of ground. Uh, it could be possible if he hit a shot here. They're not close enough. Man, I wish he had a kit right now. Yeah, that'd be fun, right? But uh, not to be, not to be. And it will be a second round for MIBR. Get in behind him pretty quickly, but so much time has already passed. Yell, looks like he actually wants to go for the challenge here, which is definitely pretty bold. Simple, taking on chance. Just as he tries to take that peak. Good shot from Yell. But the instant refrag is there from Perfecto all the way at the back of the bomb site, And he's taking that fight, actually doing so much damage to Donoko. Bolts gets a kill. If Donoko could do it again, but he can't, it's just too much to handle. That's a, that's a pretty uh, nice attempt. Bolts fighting to try and keep his team in this deep nade. And is he going to walk into it? No, but it's actually very, very close. Molotov on one side, trying to force him out. And Perfecto is just playing this actually really well. He's going to get the kill at the end, but even all the way up until that point. Just the hiding and not not being visible into A apps and it might be up. Yeah, they kind of want to. I think they want to react quickly. They want to go somewhere else fast behind this. Nice shot, the Noko again. Add it with the entry. Now he will go down to Boomich. I can get shot through the smoke right there. Boomich is down next in line, and they know Perfecto is back here, but they don't know about electronic just yet. And he's got a UMP in the bomb site. They haven't committed to anything yet. And again, look at how careful they're being here. It might be up. This is uh. Not quite Brazilian Counter-Strike at the moment. I mean, it is based on the fact that it's Brazilians playing, but the style is less than what we normally expect. Oh, but this <laughs> looking, oh, Electronic. He catches both of them. The timing is just hard to even believe, but it might not be done yet. The guys are coming through, and he almost could have had it, but Perfecto, not in his usual corner over by the bench. Instead, that's pretty great. Then he's gonna be super happy about that. Whereas if they push early, I mean, it's not gonna be worth it. Not quite 45 seconds, but yeah, it makes sense. And they take down the Noko in the middle. So that's kind of th an entire arm of the attack. Uh, He's meant to be lurking around middle. Now they're in trouble. Uh, Navi, so they're not leaving anything up to chance. They only saw the one guy mid. They killed him. So it's going to be one of these bomb sites. Boomage. He's setting up a grenade. Electronic presumably going to peek behind it too. There's the nade out. He doesn't quite get the kill, but also simple is over in jungle. So they still have a lot of firepower here. And yeah, they're just going to get picked apart one at a time. You know, I don't really mind this idea from MIBR, but they really, really got shut down. But yeah. um, they are lethal on train. So it's it's going to be a diff difficult ride here for MIBR. Very well could be. I mean, I think everyone, everyone more or less, more or less predicted that. Simple. More or less, yeah. There was just one <laughs> mad lad who... Uh... <laughs> well, look at this, though. Simple and electronic already down this round. So a couple of great opening franks. And this is the kind of round of your MIBR that you should just never be giving, a, giving away. And it's with the kind of slow pace that they've been playing. This is the kind of round that they stand a great chance of winning. Because, you know, the chance that you make a mistake when you're being as careful and calculated as they've been so far on the T side, you know, I'd say that they go way down. Now, I'm worried about Bolts being over here with the bomb on his own. And the rest of the team are over at A. If they peek them together, and they are looking like it, yep, they're going to go up together. Nicely done there, MIBR. But Perfecto had already given up the angle. But, I mean, there was still a chance, perhaps, for Perfecto to ruin it. Oof, there is a chance for Boom and Show. He's going to get shot down. But if he'd actually got that kill, and if they didn't have the smoke, because I think he had a Molotov, so, you know, there was only 18 seconds. They'd run the clock down pretty low, but a good job, ultimately, 10 to 5. I think now we are probably feeling great, but MIBR, they got at least enough rounds to do something in the second half. It's coming up after the break. So now the question becomes, could, now, could MIBR turn it around here on their CT side? I think the T side was really interesting. It was really far away from what I was expecting. But I still think it had actually a lot of promise. They just also happen to be playing MIBR. So it's always just going to get tricky. And it will too here. Agassi already gone down now. Cello out here behind the box. And he will get straight shot. So they didn't really have a chance to help each other out even. I mean, that's just sort of two separate kills. No chance for any refracts or anything. Bolts trying to recover the round, but that is not going to happen, as we can tell. I am sure that... Um, I'm sure that they were thinking where that forward push into apartment, that he would, like, you know, get a kill, fall back, and then, you know, then they could have had Cello back there, you know, sniping away so that there was some sort of, like, uh, receding defense that could have happened in that bomb site. We're about 47 seconds here. And the bomb is outside. The Noko, he's pushed up really fine. He's going to run into them. 
He's just ignoring the grenades, isn't he? Only a couple of bullets left, and he can't get the kill on Flamey. Man, that would have been great. If he could have got that one, that would have really changed the round. Now, though, three on three, and the bomb is, uh, or the bomb is making his way to A, being cleared out by Electronic over there. This is still not risk-free at all, but it doesn't seem like MRBI really have figured it out yet. No, Simple's got control of where the uh, window, and with control of window, Flamey doesn't need to let go of the W key. He can just keep running flat out from the A site, Electronic catching the rotators, and what a perfect lurk from Electronic. He just saved that site. A little bit of a flash just to distract. We can tell this is looking like a B execute, and Cello goes down. That was Electronic snuck in to try and get that kill. That's super cool. All the way from the window. Now... Four on four. With about 30 seconds left. Donoko gets one. He wanted to escape. You can actually tell he did like a double double take just to see. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, there's the window, but he never made it in. 19 seconds of the bomb is making its way in there. Now, they're, they're really fast with the rotation, so maybe they could just stop it right away if they actually get in onto the site. Bolt has got to be careful. 10 seconds on the clock. Surely someone's going to be calling this out. Oh, Electronic goes down, and the bomb gets cancelled. Flamey, he gave up on it. Man, that that whole round is just on the edge, isn't it? Like, with how slow Na'Vi are playing right now, this is the frustrating thing for Na'Vi, where they just don't really have that info. They don't know how MIPR are playing on this map, really, reliably, and so they have to uh, they have to feel it out constantly. And, well, this this will work. This will yeah, work. it will. Man, Boomich obviously inside of the smoke, but... Giving up just a bit then. Donoko, same position as last time. I mean, pushed up far into the B hallways. Bolts. Oh, he goes, gonna go down in the middle. Yeah, so so they're, they're peeking for information and getting shot, trying to do that. That's kind of rough. And so Boomich, unlike Electronic, he isn't pushing CT spawn. But it is looking like uh, they're gonna be able to get in here and get the bomb planted fairly comfortably, Navi. Simple holding off the flank. If it were to come through, he's gonna hear these footsteps and Donoko's gonna die. And there's the bomb getting planted. Yeah, so to you know to get a bit a little bit greedy or to you know to be a little bit too much forward. And they yeah, they give you that chance and you just pick them apart one at a time, so not gonna get away. So 14 to 6. Navi two rounds away from picking up this first map huh? on Mirage. Then Oko and Bolt at least could also try and swing in there. Electronic is so far out. He wants to find an early kill, and he, ooh, he actually gets the bullet. It looked like he was just transferring off of that kill. Yeah, but he's down here just battling them, all of them, in fact, in the A site. And with great success to follow it up. That's pretty wild. And this opens it up, flanks him out into the open. Perfecto. Managing to pick it up, and there's, uh, well, Bolt's fighting back as best he can. He gets two kills. But that's where the party ends. Yeah, fair play. That's hard to deal with. I mean, electronic. That he just making making that choice on his own, just playmaking into the site. That's really good. Fifteen to six, giving us that performance here. I mean, it's really allowing for Navi to just bully them. And oh man, flamey mid air. Cello can't catch a break. No, he can catch a bullet. He can with his teeth, and then he finds out that a bullet, unfortunately, cannot be, you know, grasped in his teeth. No, I think you'd have to. <laughs> I don't know what kind of teeth you'd have to have, but. Maybe like Jaws from Bond, like that. Or like what the guy with the like the metal. He is not ogre. We'll put it that way, right? For all the Baki fans out there. No, he is not no. ogre. Team Nade and the Molotov on top will force them back. So even it's a four on three. Gazi coming in from the catwalk and Yell and Bolts trying to retake from the market, but is it gonna be enough here? Electronic he actually showed his shoulder and still he managed to stay alive. Nice transfer from Yell, and that will be the round going here in favor of MIBR. So that is, I mean, it's a long ways away from being recoverable, but Bolts is moving over as a result. They've got this figured out. This is a good chance here for MIBR if they can get the opening as well. Cello's going to take one and nearly drops Perfecto, so that's a lot of damage. The Noko is about a second late, I think, at top mid, trying to catch Perfecto. No, Perfecto standing still, so he is going to get caught. Excellent play, and I think now they know Navi because they know that he's been playing over there, so they realize what's going on. They still get a couple of kills in return, and somehow they're in a two on three. In spite of MIPR pretty much having all of the advantage, and simple, he's trying to mind game this one, but he's gonna get found anyway. And Flamey goes down, no bomb plant, and MIPR bring it back in spite of almost losing control of that round. Connector, so you can smoke off jungle. But that's unfortunately gonna be useless. 
I mean, unless Yell were to rotate in here again very quickly, but no, Yell is getting baited over to the B site. He is indecisive. Electronic blocks off jungle, and this is it. Fight's on. Oof. That's a huge kill for Magazi, and he's trying to do more damage. Fantastic work coming up from him. That's a backup from Cello in there, but that is all the work that he needed to do. And you're right, Yell had, had sort of got drawn back, and he was pretty pick quick to recover from it. Like, he, he turned it around, but yeah, if not for Magazi there, that, that could have been really bad. So, absolutely well done. The more the chances increase that you'll make just a tiny mistake that'll cost you everything this time boomage is going to be trying to see if he can knock someone out here while they push right behind he's already made a lot of noise the no and bolts trying to turn for it but the flashbangs are just so overwhelming and that kind of an entry just might mean the map perfect with a good double kill and actually again even if even if he didn't do that much boomage in the middle there just the distraction was maybe enough he's eventually going to go down and it's going to be a four on three in the after plot here and i think that will be very very hard almost impossible to get through now there are not that many grenades on the navi side so i mean that's that's a little bit helpful for mibr but i doubt it's going to be enough here and they're flashed back already bomb is uh oh it's been down for a couple of seconds now so they can't just be waiting all day either perfect so good position but he does get dropped electronic with a bit of a swing and he gets a killer. Buy some more time. Yell with a bit of a refrag. And now it's a two on two. Simple. He's got the line across the bomb site. They're going to find one, but simple with the mid air shot. And that is only fitting that it ends with him. Top of the scoreboard. And now we pick up the first map with the best of three. Going into train, of course, which will be the second one. But still, that's not bad at all. You know, it takes a bit of pressure on, especially when you're the underdog team. Agazi, he's got a little bit of a setup here with the Noko. They're going to be smoking that off. And Navi, look like they actually want to come through. That's pretty dangerous. They're right on the edge. The bomb is over at main. And, oh, they're walking into a lot of bullets here. This could end horribly. They find a way to turn it around. Simple and flamey with simultaneous headshots. I actually didn't see that coming. It looked like they were really about to get crunched down there at Ivy. And that could have ended badly. Now, Electronic coming in with a very strong kill and taking down Cello, who had his entire back turned to that yard. So that is a way to get killed quick. I think they nearly line up, but Yell is in it. He's going to get two big shots. And now it's Electronic versus Yell, one versus one. And Yell actually looks like he's not afraid at all. He's just out in the open waiting for him. And he's got him down to eight health, and he'll win the round with a triple kill. That is magnificent. Man, I feel like a lot of how this uh, first half, or at least the first part of the first half, first half of the first half, Wow. First half of the first half, yeah. yeah. First quarter. Exactly. Um, how it's going to play out, I think, will basically be dependent a little bit on this round because based off of that first map loss, and then, you know, even if you win the pistol round here, if you can't keep pushing it, it still won't be that easy. Electronic. Oh, the, the timing is so ridiculous. And Simple goes down. That MP9 double kill from Agazi and Bolts catching Flamey. He was trying to escape, getting shot in his little toes coming down the ladder. And Flamey, well, catching flames. Yeah, not the kind that he wants. Oh, Electronic, though. Doesn't actually catch out Yell in the open, and Electronic trying to create some space here, just charging out to Electric. And while they are just getting picked off one after the other. Yeah, they really are. I can't actually believe it. Another kill comes in from Agassi, leaving Boomich alone. Four health and a one versus three, and he cannot escape. A triple kill from Donoko and... It seemed like Navi oddly. I mean, that's a that's a round that goes counter to the narrative that we were trying to build from the beginning. Now, only three, about almost a fourth man coming in here. And Yell, if he's covering this back line, that's going to be helpful. Although, Magazi does go down simple. Not connecting with that shot and taking a fair bit of damage. Good follow-up, though. Danoko going down and Cello. Yeah, he's covering both the ladder and main at the same time. And it's becoming really uncomfortable. Oh, no! Flamey getting a little bit more than he wanted there. Yell, not able to connect. 27 seconds, and now it's a three on three. I think simple, yeah, he knows where they are. Bolts is in connector and Cello coming out. He's going to catch the timing. That's not bad. Molotov as well to force Boomich back. Is he going to walk into this line of fire as well? Not quite. Cello just now peeking. I think maybe he could have caught Boomich there, but it doesn't work out that way. Bomb is planted, and they do not have a smoke. They just used that on the other side. Would have thought they would have wanted to save that for the bomb itself. But now let's see. Can they go for the retake? Just tapping it. The flash is in. He actually is trying to get away. And I don't know about that yell. He is in so much trouble. And I think, yeah, if the opportunity was there, it's definitely already gone away. I don't think now we are going to give this one up. So kind of a terrible start to this execute, but they win it anyway. So close for Boomich. Yep, they do win it. Navi on the board. And this... 
once again kind of playing to their strengths so this buy which is actually really encouraging right like that makes such a big difference that they don't just immediately run out simple took a bit of damage could have easily had a kill Ooh, had a second chance for a kill and still did not pick it up so now they should be avoiding this although they can't avoid boomage he nearly gets the double they might still be dead here cello he is just a bull of the way sneaking through trying to catch the timing and he's gonna get the revenge that's unbelievable he can't do more than that he was so low on health already and this round is gonna be over anyway surely agazi and one versus four here and they're just they're just coming in from all sides so good double kill for simple bit of a bit of a rough start can hang out here it should be cool I'm going to try and make a little bit of noise coming out. Agassi is holding the one side, but Bolt goes down. He was being too aggressive. And now are they going to fall back or are they going to keep going? They have 36 seconds. Boomich is cl clearing out the B-bomb side. Oh, Bolt, he might have jumped the gun. Boomich does go down. Perfecto sneaking in and he wins the fight against Agassi. So now this round is all over the place. 25 seconds. Danoko and Yell could still get enough kills here to slow it down, but simple executing him right away. And that means Cello is on his own. Oh, they are so good at not rushing things, Navi. And this could be a round where Navi decide to change up their pace again. Instead of going slow, speed it up now. Without the nades, MIPR might be under pressure here. And yeah, look at this. Flaming and Perfecto straight on out. Yeah, trying to clear that angle. Perfecto does go down. Flamey, that's a very important refrag that he gets in there. And leaves it a four on four, and the pressure is still on. Simple is going to be last out with the bomb all the way in the back with that AWP as well. Electronic really close, and he nearly overlooked that position. Agassi not quite there for the double kill. Boomich is, though, sneaking through the smoke, and he could maybe find the kill on him there. So now it is a two on three as Agassi goes down. Boomich, yeah, eventually rewarded for that. And now they have a minute and 15 seconds. They can, they can do this. They can wait around, and Simple... Going to get the kill on Yell, who was trying to sort of clear an angle down there, which I think makes sense. I mean, he sort of has to get out here and help, but that just doesn't work out. And now Bolt is not in a good position, and he's going to get shot at the back. So, I don't know. That, that was close to being a, a held site there, but... And so we're coming back into fundamental T-side CS now, and it's really nice to see. And so Navi now, now they go B. And let's yeah. see. Yeah, there's a setup. Yeah. Yeah. They're lethal. Oh! Cello just long range spamming away. He got two kills and two bullets for that. And they're still fighting here. I can't believe that no one else from Navi has died. They've all been stood on top of each other. I feel like they should have taken way more damage. I think the last 10 Deagle bullets hit no one. Yeah, and the first ones were just all kills. So that is kind of shocking. Danoko coming in a little bit late to the party. He's going to pick up an AK-47, so that's kind of good news. But even if they're low right now, uh, this is just still not going to be easy at all. He has a smoke, but no kit. So even smoking the bomb, not going to be sitting inside for 10 seconds defusing. He's getting kind of close here. If he could, I don't know how you even do this. Even wrapping up behind. Is there a chance? Can he find the right timing? He's going to catch simple. Looking all over the place. Oh, and the straight flick. That is so fast. He goes to pick it up straight on the bomb. And he is going to have enough time for it. That is a, a really important round for MIBR. That is so cool that he's close enough to hear Boomich jump. Boomich giving it up with the noise cue. A little bit of a quick peek there. And I mean, even for MIBR, that's kind of good to know. Someone's out here swinging and running and trying to get it done. And for once, Boomich doesn't actually get that... Uh, that revenge kill, although as you said, he's been very good at it. Three versus five, a little bit of a jump past here. Flamey trying to create a bit of a distraction. Perfecto coming down at Ivy at the same time. So might be the best shot to get back in the round here for Navi if they can if they can snipe in a kill on Perfecto. That would make a big difference in the timing almost there. It is, it is. Simple so low, but Perfecto is gonna be dead. Shazzy gonna pick a kill up on him. And over at the B bomb site. They should. They are playing it like a retake, and they probably should, right? Five versus two. Why try and hold on like on the side itself? They need to lined up for that one. On Flamey now, gonna go straight for the bomb plant. They will have plenty of money going into the 15th round with or without the bomb plant, and he's not gonna get anything else done. So it will be an eighth round for MIBR on the CT side, which again is. I mean, that's that's, that's still pretty good, right? But um, and now they are gonna wrap back around, and it's only yell. So your star, Anders, is gonna get a chance to shine here. Yeah, and he's going to try and reel bright. Flash and jumped, and simple as there to catch him. So that is, that's extinguished really fast. And, I mean, again, I think six rounds is already plenty enough for Navi here on this first half. You know, if they get a seventh on the board, 
I think even it might be will know that that is that's gonna be trouble three on four in the retake and Ugazi's all the way back here setting up could he get some sort of a deep flash in to help his teammates out there it is and the noko trying to swing for it but not finding anyone on the other side simple will take one Vumich on the follow-up and cello well he's doing his best but it is not going to be enough eight to seven at the end of the half in favor of uh, well, still in favor of MIBR, so I guess that is kind of good news, but I think Navi are going to be all right. It's not a bad place to be. And speaking of which, it's Electronic, actually, who's been pushing into T main, so he's quite far up there. They're playing kind of middle of the bomb side over on B, so not quite retake. And, oh, Electronic, actually, that's, un that's uncomfortable. Simple. Going wow. down to Agassi. That's a, he actually looked like he had the lineup for that shot. Electronic hoping for a long-range USP shot. Instead, he's going to get killed as well. So Agassi with a quick early double kill. Flamey, though, trying to bring it back. Yeah, he's turned around. He knows that could be right behind him as well. Three on three. And a lot is riding on this round here for MIBR. It's Agassi at it again. He's already got the triple. And maybe just that for him here. Boom, it's in a one versus three. And... I was going to say smoke him off. They're going to decoy him off. I don't think that works quite as well. Bomb is planted. And I don't know. They're low enough on health, at least two of them, that maybe he could do this. But he's just not finding it at the moment. And he's only got four bullets. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to get that kill. He couldn't reload. There was no more bullets left. I only just noticed. But now he has a Glock. So now he's got a lot of them. Running out of time, though. Trying to see if he could get close with the burst fire. <laughs> He's doing everything possible. In the end, it's a quad kill for Agassi, and it will be a ninth round for MIBR. What a critical round. The CZ? Yeah, yeah. it's not my thing. It's, it's like a dark art. Yeah. Oh, bolts. Yeah, well, there we go. That is the use for it. Oh, <laughs> no. That was very violent. The no code coming down from the heavens and just exacting that revenge. And actually... He'll take simple with him. Why not? There is still a pretty much a three-man stack here at the bomb site. They're going to get the bomb planted, so that's pretty good news. And I think that 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 makes it much harder for... Oh, no! Maybe it doesn't! Electronic! He snipes away two of them. I was going to say, once the bomb is down, all the pressure on Na'Vi. Electronic trying to save it. Basically needs a quad kill, but he almost gets it. He gets a dink on Agassi. He's down to 33 health. A triple kill for Electronic with a C set 75. What a round out of him. I think this HE, I mean, that could be really, oh, with the timing just before they hit. <laughs> wow. That just did like 150 damage, or just under, on three players. So that is a good start for the defense. Bit of a follow-up there. Cello with a nice refrag. Bomb is going to be going down. And also, Akasi and Boomich are hunting for each other in the A yard. And whoever wins this fight could make all the difference. Oh, we had the knife out. And that's what made the difference. Otherwise, maybe he could have had it. But that is huge. Now, not only are they retaking the B bomb site, but they're having to worry about getting shot in the back. Or if they try and escape and fall back, you know, maybe that's not even going to work. The Noko goes down. And now they're just pushing on like it's nothing. Like they don't even care about that flank. They nearly lined up for the kill. And now Agassi. The smoke is up there. He can land a grenade. Is it going to stop the defuse? It banks down. And actually, no one is there to be caught. But he doesn't know. He has to push. He had no choice. So that is kind of cool. But no one is on it. Oh, no. They did not have a defuse kit. Even if you got no kills and nothing else, they still win the round. And Flamey goes up. Oh, my heart can't handle this. Actually, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed by Yell right now. Sure. I'm just kind of curious. Like, Dust 2. Oh, oh buddy. Beating the fire and the flames. And beating Flamey on top. Now Electronic is stuck. Oh no, does it spread? It will. And he's dead as well. They did take a lot of damage in return, but that is a two for nothing trade down there. Aaron Boomich, as you mentioned earlier, he likes to push. Well, he is. And he's going to catch her. No. What? He caught them. He, there was no way they could have known that. They weren't walking around that corner and checking it. They just... They just showed up, all chest out, just <laughs> ready to take that fight, apparently. Deep nade. Oh, God. They're beating them up now. It's about to be 14-7. Simple. Just combat orping his way into the bomb site. <laughs> One versus five. Well, if anyone could, it maybe would be him. Yeah. Still got the time. We're only 50 seconds. They're slowing it down now and trying to sort of play as a team. They're actually going to run. <laughs> you know what? It's not worth it. We don't want to fight him. Leave us alone, Simple. In contrast to the, the kind of resilient CS energy that I was talking about a little bit earlier, right? Oh, this is ah, run oh, wild. This is actually wild. But, you know, like, you know, a team with Henny and Lucas and, and, like, that kind of really aggressive energy, they would have kept fighting simple in that in that bomb site and possibly one at a time, right? Yeah. And that's exactly how you could lose that round. But you can actually see that, that MIBR, they, 
Like, they managed to calm that down and remind themselves, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, it can still be turned around, but it's getting tricky now. M4 comes out on top. Magazi going down. That's a, that's a nice little nice little pick there from Electronic. And he's had trouble winning that fight down there, even with backup. So that's going to feel good. Boomage running and gunning with the MP9. It is a classic. The bomb, though, is down on the B-bomb side. So they're going to have to do something here on the T side. Now, if they would have actually, you know, converted the entry there and got into the site, Cello would have been out. Like, he just got simple out in the yard. But it has less of an impact when the bomb isn't down. Like, now we have time to turn around and look for something else here. Yell? I don't know. I think Flamey might have seen him too. I, I want to say he did, so... For 30 Perfecto seconds. has a bomb, though. They, they have to know that the bomb is still here. They do. So eventually, with 30 seconds left, they have to come here. Yeah, they definitely know, right? They just want to make sure they don't get shot in the back end anyway, but... I don't know. Yell's getting some good real estate up here to try and look for a fight. Can he get the right snipe? He's now just falling down. Oh, big shot with the AWP again. Falls right out of the sky. Now 14 seconds. They have to find Perfecto. He's trying to just run for it here. 10 seconds, but they're all over it. And Yell will take him down. A fantastic 2-1-3 victory. MIBR now at map point. Four on four. About uh, 37 seconds. They're going back into main. Electronic. Oh, if he had more grenades, if he had like a flash, or oh, sorry, a smoke or a Molotov, now he could he could kill this round right now. That is a very smooth jump, but also dangerous. It looks like he's found the timing though. He'll take a lot of damage in return, and Yell will find Flamey. 20 seconds now on the clock. Straight headshot to take down Electronic and Perfecto and Simple, holding on all of a sudden in a two on four to try and save this map and prevent a third one for MIBR. I can't believe it's come to this. Navi have won exactly zero rounds in this second half. And it looks like they won't be able to hold on. This is actually magnificent. Danoko trying to stay back, stay out of the line of fire. Perfecto will find a kill right then and there, but I think it is all but over. It's gonna be a Gassi to find the last two kills, and now you see the excitement. 16 to seven as the Brazilians bring down Navi and force a third map on Dust2, and that on its own is actually tremendous. Oh man, Flamey's face says it all. He looks like he just swallowed a lemon. They are not happy on the side of that. He could end, at the very least, the long portion of this round. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he knows. Now he's going to be walking up. This should be, at the very least, one free kill and probably two. Oh! Oh, no! He missed up the opportunity, and now they're going to be coming for him, and he goes down in the pit, and the rest of them are coming on catwalk. This is a disaster. Now they are way out in the open. Boomich, he's got almost nowhere to hide. The fact that he gets that kill is big news, but... It doesn't matter in the end. Man, that just opened the floodgates. As soon as Simple goes down in pit, that three-man push on the catwalk abs just wipes out the people that are on long. And now, I mean, we've got a post-map situation where you're just going to be taking bullets to the head. They know where Flamey is now. Cello going to take that fight because he knows he's got his three teammates behind him to back him up. And there will be no surviving this for Flamey. He is going to get caught. And so... It feels like MIBR made the adjustment. They eventually do take long control, but it never really felt at the beginning, at least, like they wanted to just push up on this. I mean, bolts against Simple. Uh, and Simple's going to catch him looking the wrong way? No. Still, point blank with the Deeg. It's just, <laughs> it's such a powerful gun. Yeah, it really is. Um, and again, like, that could have been the MAC-10 on Donoko, right? Like, he could have been the one out there taking a look. Now, yeah, they're going to just immediately follow it up. A little bit of a gap, which is super dangerous. Oh, no. I think they were gunning for his teammate and Simple War. I'd love to see that replay. I wonder how that works out. Agazi up here, but yeah, coming in with a bit of a flank. And they only lose bolts. So fair play. They steal the AK back. They trade it out for the MAC-10, so it didn't even cost them anything. He's going to be annoyed, right, Simple? That pistol round and the fact that they didn't do so well on train. And then, you know, if you get enough of a bad start here, that's going to start to really compound. He's going to get a kill, but shot down right for the smoke. And that clears the A-bomb site. And they, they have nothing to retake this with. I mean, they have a kit and a, and a Molotov, but almost nothing else. Navi already already backing out, and the, bar, and the orb is up here. They can't even, you know, escape with it. I want off this wild ride where you're the one predicting if I be hard and they're playing like the sun does two handers. <laughs> I want out of this ride. Yeah, but you cannot. <laughs> That's the, the whole point of the simulation once you're plugged in. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this is just getting a bit out of hand. We're only, we're only doing this so that you slowly realize that none of it is real. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 4-0. They have one smoke on simple and some flashbangs, but that is it. So 
if this B bomb site falls, there's not going to be a retake. They just won't have the nades for it. Some random shots coming through. Oh, this is dangerous. Cello, he's at the edge now. He's actually pushed out. Smoke has disappeared and he, he should catch it. Oh, flamey. Lucky to be alive. He probably should have been dead. And now Simple is going to take down the Kano over on the other side. So it's looking a bit better this time around. But I can't believe it. That round is, is just on Cello, essentially missing a little bit of a spray on a jumping target. If he gets that, I guarantee you it'll destabilize this entire A defense. And that's what they wanted, right? MIBR didn't actually want to hit the B, the a, the B bomb site. They wanted to snipe one kill in B and then just walk right out. Oh, he's making this a little bit expensive. Yeah, they wanted to walk out on catwalk and murder all the people that are rotating in. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here, but here's the change of pace. Yeah, they're going to go quick out long. A lot of flashbangs there. Pretty good trade for Perfecto. And trying to relocate himself. He would love Boomage to stick around and help him out. And yeah, he's going to throw in, I think, a little bit of a Molotov to try and segment them. And Decano pushed forward. Perfecto is finally going to be going down, but Simple also finding a kill in the middle on Yell. So, I mean, favorable trade at the end for, for Navi. And again, he is simple. And even though he's been playing like a little bit worse the last couple of maps here, I wouldn't underestimate him. 37 seconds. Let's see how this goes. I'm still a little bit nervous. There is the first initial engagement. Bolt's going to get the kill, pick up the bomb, and try to make the jump. And simple says no. Yep. Look at the recovery that's sort of that's being forced in here by Navi. It's actually really cool, right? They've got MIBR very low on economy. If they win this round, I think they're going to tie up the game. And then I think Navi are going to be right back into it. Nice little... Just easy setup there, and Electronic taking down Cello with no chance for any kind of a, of a of a return. Looks like they want to go really quick out through middle for another B-split here. Simple. He's hearing them. Is he bold enough? Oh, there's another smoke. So he can't see them. He was, and Flamey is going to get overrun. Bolts burning alive and nearly going down. It's just trading all over the place, and it is Navi coming out on top. Perfecto again with another double kill, and Electronic adding to the first one that he got as well. It's a That's bit unfortunate. So yeah. Well, he's setting up a smoke. He sees what is coming anyway. And yeah, there's the wall. They do jump right before. That is mega dangerous. Now they're on the other side. 15 seconds. They need to clear out. Simple. It's not going to be the kind of... How does he even see that? I couldn't even see what was happening then. Eight seconds on the clock. And that bomb, it's being attempted. Jumps in front. And they nearly get it. Just even jumping. Perfecto nearly saving this round. Now it's a four versus three. And MIBR are in so much trouble. They just can't even hide anywhere. They have a very late smoke. But Simple has a deagle and a an knot. And that is plenty enough. Great retake. Losing no one. Simple with the triple. <laughs> He's here to play now. He's 14 and five. He is tired of losing this match. What even is that? All right, let's see this. I mean, already I love that he's putting the smoke down to give himself a place to hide from Molly's. Like one, oh, he just barely oh. spots the movement. That's so sick. It's outrageous, isn't it? Shooting him through the box. What a god. Nah, simple is just outrageous, dude. And if he dies, some pressure could be on simple, but we'll have to see. They 40. Need to be aware of this, though. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, they're going to go check it. And that is the bomb down, so you might as well go. You're not going to be winning anything falling back from here. And Simple's now also covering the crossfire, so taking down the Noko. Yeah, there's not much left they could do right here. They, I think they definitely need to jump Boomage in that very second. So seven rounds in a row for Navi. This is a tremendous comeback. I'm really impressed. Yeah, Boomage just has these spots on CT side where he just loves to play aggro and just sit and wait. And well, Long A is one of them where he will just camp outside a long house like that. Oh, nicely done, Cello. Getting two kills, staying alive, keeping that AK in play. You want to try and be doing that? Cello, he's making sure that no one peeks in front of the smoke as it goes down. And then they're going to try and make a run for it. But they walk right into Flamey. And that is a big opening. Now the rotation is going to be coming in. They need to be swift here, MIBR. They lose under the fire and bolts. And Flamey guarding the window. Now at the back of the site on his own. But Yell is holding middle. And unless Azazi can actually get this, it's not going to work out. Nice shot from Flamey. Great triple kill. Great defense. So sick. Now let's see. Hello up here. Straight shot to take down Flamey. That's Why'd pretty you good. Commanders? I know. That's... Sorry, man. Simple and Boomich, he's gonna if if Cello comes through, Boomich can have all the advantage. Yeah, shadow showing, and he's not even not even doing anything. He's hoping that more will show up. And inside here, it's perfecto sniping them from middle. And simple is gonna be just right behind them. He's walking up with the AWP. That's gonna be a free kill. And Yell can even get away in time. He's shooting right at the edge. 
But 50 seconds here for the one versus two. He's at least going to get the bomb plant, so that can put some pressure on. But this is not easy. Boomich is right on the other side. Could almost just be walking through. The smoke is going to be going up. Does he challenge it? He looked like he was thinking about it. Instead, I think he's going to get flashed in. There's a perfect flashbang. Yell, how is he not dead yet? Boomage, did he also get flashed? Because I think he should have been gone. And he will be anyway. Ten straight rounds and a road to close out the half with in favor of Na'Vi. That is definitely a message sent and received. And now they're going to go check out the catwalk. In the meantime, the bomb is still in lower dark. And MIBR, they've just lost ten in a row. They, they have got to be very hungry to win this pistol round. And if they don't, I mean, who knows if they will even get anything set at all in this second half. Here they come out the middle. The great game is on. Oh, just continuing into the window. He was just pre-firing that. And that is the B-bomb site done and over. Beautiful. Shazzy in the middle. Bomb has been planted. <laughs> it's just... Burst fire, toying with him, jump, jump on top of the box. You know you want to, Boomage. Just a little, little quick jump. But yeah, obviously the retake. I mean, we're not even talking about a retake. We're just talking about a, some sort of a fight in the middle before the retake. So it never gets underway. Perfecto. I especially like that instant, instant flick to the window. The electronic is holding middle, which is probably good news. He could maybe sneak in a kill there. And now we just need to cross and get that bomb down. Electronic, yeah, free kill for him. Standard. Danoko not not really aware or not really thinking about it. And now, 25 seconds. I'm a little bit low on time. I'm not too happy about this. Got to be careful that you don't end up getting a shot while you're planting the bomb and for some for someone jumping. Bolt's only good for the one kill, but we're down to 15 seconds. And bam, not much he could have done there. I think even getting the second one, they were all around him. That's a pretty expensive round, though. And it's also at a minute. I don't know how long they want to wait now. Look at... Uh Shaz, he's pushing out of the long. Fagazi, he's on it. Oh, the counter flash coming out. But that might have been a team flash, actually. It doesn't matter. It's still going to work. And Flamey's holding middle, so even though that the start of that wasn't that great, they just instantly make it work anyway. <laughs> three on three, doesn't matter. And they're so far away. Actually, Agazi could pick up simple here. I still think I, they can't obviously turn it around at that point in time, but yeah, it's going to be fine. Ooh. But the setup for the round was perfect, right? It's everything that we were talking about in the first half. You get, you push the, the CTs back on catwalk, and you set up all the smokes and you go for it. Frustrating to experience us, you know, being on the other side, thinking, why? Why is he just so good? Electronic, that's a beautiful entry. That's everything you want from getting out long. And now Bolts, if he stays, he's fighting pretty much three people. If he falls back, yeah, he's giving up that part of the control. Oh, they do line up for him. That was nearly perfect. But at the end of the day, you know, four on three, Danoko is now trying to sort of make up for this loss by pushing out into upper dark, which is really cool. It's setting up for a potential uh, round. And I mean, again, they have one, one in 14 rounds, so they don't even know what that feels like anymore. 40 seconds and woohoo, that's his timing. Yeah, I don't know if it's a tiny gap. I'm not sure. Nade on top. He's going to walk straight into it. He got his face blown right off. I need a replay of that. And simple now in a one versus three. They should win this round. They've got it lined up. There should be absolutely no way here. 25 seconds, no bomb plant, and yeah, they're hiding inside <laughs> of the smoke. It's going to go away eventually, so they'll have to fight him one of these days. Oh, there's one. Can he get the second? He stands up. He takes him down. Now 10 seconds on the clock. And Cello is right down with front. Simple. He's just ice cold, waiting for it. He does scope a little bit. And yeah, he knows now, Cello. He's not coming in from that same angle. Does he have what it takes? He's just behind the box, and he's got to be feeling so pressured. Simple. Does he have any mercy at all? Is he going to give him a chance? He misses the shot, and Cello will take him down. A triple on him, and he has a kit. He can win the round. My God, nearly a one versus three for Simple. Otherwise, you can play behind on the site and just play for time, right? But no, Simple decides to step out there, and he's just saying, I'm going to hit the shot. And just like there. Yeah, he's back for more. By the way, that was, you know, that was like a, a disappointment. He was like, God, I couldn't even win the one versus three. What's going on? Like, seriously, like, he's got different standards, I guess. So he wants to continue. And now he is just going to battle them. He's, he says, yeah, you can win one in 14 rounds. That's all. We'll, that's what we'll let you do here. It does finally go down, but it's a three on three and they have the B bomb site. They just need the bomb. And it's, it's, it's showing up oh, eventually. Yeah, done. Electronic makes it out in time. That's just unfortunate. Chilo had... Didn't even occur to him that someone could have been there. Yeah. That's just a tough one. And you hear your stomach drops. Just to, just to, you know, 
So say that's not really the fine getting the kill over at long is maybe a, a you know that's a this is a good normal kind of fight but the fact that he then decides yeah i'm just gonna keep pushing knife out run to the next one take this fight at this point if you're uh if you're a gazi out there that's when you start to think well, okay flashbang lottery you know like yeah if, if someone doesn't get flashed and, and the rest do it's it's probably done now yeah are they gonna run boost him or just peek at an angle i'm not sure okay a couple of people jumping now they got the orb up and that will Absolutely shut down. Yeah, leaving Cello alone. He's gonna get the one, but they're jumping him. Oh man, he couldn't even see that. Three on three in the after plant here. They're gonna make the crossover. Now the they have just they've given them a single round to win here. And now they wanna end this map and prove exactly why they're the second best team in the world. Three on three in the after plant. It's very unlikely. 44, 43% there. I'm not even sure that's true. Simple. He's got the line up into the window. Already set up to try and catch anyone coming through. And it's just going to be Agassi. The rest coming through the door and they get shut down. 16 to 6. Boomic with the double. And Navi reclaim their status here. Bit of a rough game, all things considered. But, I mean, simple. It's... How do you even account for that? How do you account for someone being able to turn up just at the flick of the hand? Just like, you know, snap of the finger and he's there.